Hello, hello, how are you today? It is Jolene here from The Best Vinyl Cutters and today I've got a super sweet and short tutorial on how to do vertical text in Cricut Design Space. Before we hop into it, hit that subscribe button. We've got new videos coming out on every Monday and I'm sure you don't want to miss any of them. So text, text can be really frustrating to work with in Cricut Design Space. It is not their strength or their forte. So let's say we want to make a nice long sign, a vertical sign that runs down that we can pop next to our front door. How do we make the letters go vertical? So I'm going to keep this really simple and let's just do my name. So this is obviously how we go about doing it when we want to go horizontal. And all you need to do if you want to go vertical is to literally type in your letter, enter, next letter, enter, and continue. So now you can see that we're creating a vertical name here. And it also looks really untidy and really messy and all over the shop. We can fix that though, because currently its alignment is to the left and we can simply align it to the center. And there we go. And it looks a hell of a lot better. So now I can measure out how tall I want it to be for my sign and I can go ahead and cut it. All right, so this works really, really well when you're choosing fonts that were created for Cricut. Cricut, this is Cricut Sans. It's a very basic font and it was designed with Cricut Design Space. So the formatting is pretty spot on. The thing is, though, that when you upload your very own fonts to your desktop, um, very often you'll find very weird gaps between your letters. And this often happens with scripts. So let me just go here to my system font. So that's all of your fonts that live on your desktop. I'm going to click on the first one, which is Endelica brush. And instantly you can see what happens. The letters have moved very far apart and we've got this really big gap here between the O and the L and a smaller one in between the J and the O. So that is very frustrating. I don't want to make a sign with weird gaps like this. And this is something that I need to fix. All right. So what I need to do from here on is a few different things. First of all, if your gaps were pretty even and you just needed to move the letters closer together, you can come up here to line spacing and you can reduce the line space. So you can see these arrows. It's telling us that it's moving the space in between the letters closer together. So we can go zero. It hasn't done much of a difference. So you can actually go into the negative. So you just type negative and you can put in a number here. So negative four, it's moved my letters closer together, my J and my O, but you can see how uneven my spacing is. So I am still not very happy. It hasn't fixed the problem. <coughs> Excuse me. So what you can do from here on is to actually start separating the letters out. Before you do that, what I recommend you do is to find a gap between your letters, between most of the letters that you're pretty happy with. So think about the start and the end, because what I want to do is to distribute these letters, um, distribute them vertically so that the gaps are even in between them. But because we're going to separate them into individual letters, uh, it's I don't want to fiddle with it too much afterwards. All right. So what I do is I find something that I'm pretty happy with. Some of the letters might be too squashed up and some of them might be further apart, but that's okay at this point because I'm going to fix this in the next minute. So how big do you want your word to be? How big do you want your spaces to be in between? I think actually I might even go a little bit closer together. All right, there we go. So yeah, it looks horrible right now. Those are touching. This gap's not bad. That one's a bit bigger. That one's not bad. But what I can do now is to draw a box around it, highlight the whole thing. I can either go to ungroup here or I can ungroup to letters. And now we've got the letters separate. So I can pick one letter up and I can move it out. But what I don't want you to do is to start trying to eyeball it and move the letters up and down to try and fix it. There's a much easier way to do this and we can highlight all of the letters. You go up here to align and then you just pick distribute vertically. So that was what I was rambling on about before. So this is going to automatically distribute the letters for us spaced out perfectly. So there you can see it's moved the J and the O apart and my gaps in between my letters are pretty even. And then you can also come up here because I was fiddling with, the, um, I was fiddling with some of the letters. I want to make sure they're all 
nicely aligned underneath each other. So you come back in here, this center horizontally, you can see that it is the line runs straight down. So it's going to put all of the letters underneath each other and it just very carefully tidied it all up for me. And now I am ready to go. So thing though, just to remember is that if I go to make it from here, it's going to scramble up all of my letters. Why? Because we haven't told the software what we want to do. And the software wants to save you space and it wants to make your life easy. And so it decided this is the most space effective way of cutting out all of your elements. So if you would like to keep your letters the way that it is, you need to highlight them. And what we need to do is basically to put a paper clip on them to tell the software, hey, I want all of these elements to stay exactly in this place. So that's what we do when we put a paper clip on paper, right? When you've got a collection of paper, you put a paper clip on it. We want the papers to stay in that order, in that exact spot. And attach, as you can see, it has a paper clip because that's what it does. So I am telling the software, I want all of my letters to stay in this position, in this order, in place. So I click on attach. And now when I go to make it, it's going to keep my letters as is. I've obviously got it way too big, so it's popped it on a big mat for me. Um, but that's okay. And now you can go ahead and you can cut out your letters and they will be ready for your sign or whatever it is that you would like to use it for. Um, and it's ready to go. So I hope you found this tutorial really helpful today and that you can now get stuck into making whatever it is that you're dreaming about in your head. And we'll see you on Monday for our next video and our tutorial. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can get the notification and come and watch the new video once it is out. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Bye for now.